Case Western Reserve University just positioned itself to teach perhaps the most technologically advanced dental students in the nation. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins sitting next to me, as you could tell when we started, because <laughs> we were discussing this. Uh, this is a huge upgrade at the dental school. That it's setting them apart. Yes, and there are words in this I really can't <laughs> explain, and, and that's what we were talking about, actually. So, okay, the Case School of Dental Medicine unveiled its $2.6 million upgrade to its simulation clinic. And believe me when I tell you, this goes far beyond filling cavities. The state-of-the-art equipment is the latest available that will give students as close to Real life experience in operative dentistry, prostodontic, endodontics, that's, yeah, one of these words, okay, implants and digital dentistry and make them more prepared when they get to real patients. Now, they're going to learn to use computer-aided design to manufacture dental crowns and other dental devices before they even go into practice. It is the first of its kind in the nation of dental schools and we will hopefully attract even more and more the um, best and brightest of students. It's more modern, it's more sleek, it's more organized, it allows us to have you know, a better sort of a better transition to actual private practice where, we, where we're going to be working with like the latest materials, the latest technology, all that sort of stuff. Now, the dental students at Case are also the first in the U.S. to learn hollow anatomy and hollow neuro 3D mixed reality human anatomy. That's thanks to a $91,000 investment in HoloLens visors and the software needed to it the dental school used. Now, imagine being able to use virtual reality to visualize the function of the teeth for what you're trying to fix before you have to fix it. And this was the part where I was supposed to explain thrombomandibular something, 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 <laughs> and something that's really confusing. And yeah, I, hats off to these dental students for what they need to do. But imagine, you know, knowing how to visualize it. Like you, see, you think your kids are using these virtual reality video games mm -hmm. and they're in there. And imagine these dental students are essentially doing the same thing, but they're learning how to fix a problem before they have to fix the problem using virtual reality. Wow. It's the coolest thing ever. Can you imagine if we had that when we were in school? I would have passed anatomy like, you know, <laughs> no problem. You think you would have. Gone. I think, yeah, yeah, good point. No, that's all right. <laughs> you would have, I have no doubt about it. <laughs> you would have before I would. I had to study books. I mean, seriously, yeah. We had it so hard, didn't we? It was so hard. Oh, thanks, Mon. Sure. <laughs>